This video is in two parts. This is part one. So I'm really excited to be talking about my favorite architectural drawing system, and that is the Paraline drawing. So where a multi-view drawing such as a plan, elevation, and section gives you a two-dimensional view, and a linear perspective only gives you a static view, a Paraline drawing actually gives you a three-dimensional view and your eye can kind of move around the different to spaces. imagine moving through the spaces and the sequence of spaces rather than a static or just a two-dimensional view. So someone can start to understand the overall collection of spaces and, and also the connection of different spaces in one image. So Paraline drawings is actually quite easy to construct. They can be very impressive looking when it's done right. And if you combine a pair line drawings with a series of multi-view drawings such as a plan, elevation, and section into a composite or a hybrid drawing, it can be really dynamic. It can be a very expressive that is great for presentation. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There's another reason why I love pair line drawings. There's something very satisfying when you're, when you're drawing and completing a pair line drawing. I'll get to that in a minute. So let's talk about what is a Paraline drawing. So a Paraline drawing is a single image that combines the three major axes, the X, Y, and the Z. So in our multi-view drawings, it typically is in two-dimensional drawing, whether it is an X or Y, or Y or Z. In the Paraline drawing, we are fusing the three together to compose one image. is a parallel. So lines that are drawn in one axis, they are also in parallel. So with the x-axis, all the lines drawn in one axis or the x-axis will be in parallel. Same thing for the y-axis, same thing for the z-axis. So parallel drawings consist of subsets of exonometric projection and oblique projection. Let's start with exonometric projection. The word exonometric means measured axes. The reason why architects and designers like exonometric drawings as well as oblique drawings is because of this notion that we can measure the lines on each axis. That is gonna be true. Just like when you measure something on a multi-view drawing, whether it's a plan or elevation or section, it is gonna be true. Unlike perspective drawing, you cannot measure anything. There are three types of exonometric projection. There's isometric, diametric, and trimetric. In diametric projection, one or two of its major axes is foreshortened. In trimetric projection, all three of the major axes are foreshortened. In diametric projection, the projection of two angles between the axes are equal. The other is not. In trimetric projection, the projection of the three angles between the axes are unequal. In isometric projection, the projection of the three angles between the axes are all equal, and that is 120 degrees. The reason why diametric and trimetric is not used in architectural drawings is because the scale is not consistent in the three major axes. In other words, they are not one to one to one in scale. Diametric projection are popular and often used in video game design, notably in world building games. A trimetric projection is more stylized. The angles between all three axes are different. Trimetric projection has also been used in many popular video game design. Diametric and trimetric projections are not commonly used in architectural drawings. The other Paraline drawings subset is oblique projections. And there's two. There's the plan oblique 
and there is the elevation obliques. In elevation oblique, one side or one elevation of the object is drawn true to shape and size. The other horizontal axis that is receding from the elevation is typically reduced in scale. That scale can be three quarters, two thirds, or even a half. A combined plan and elevation oblique are drawn true to shape and size. It is rarely used in architectural drawing. In a plan oblique, the top surface or the plan is drawn true to shape and size. It is one of the two most popular paraline drawings to make, and it is one of the easiest paraline drawings to construct. The isometric and plan obliques are used most often for architectural drawings. So through years of professional usage, it's very common people use the term exonometric. What they really mean is plan oblique. For whatever reason, it's been misused. It's become pretty common. So it's really important when someone asks you to do a exonometric, you may want to clarify and ask, do they want a plan oblique? And if they don't know what a plan oblique is, you might just want to quickly demonstrate what that is. And also in terms of professional usage, the exonometric is also referred to as axon, as well as isometric is referred to as iso. So one really important thing about parallel line drawings, and regardless of the orientation, that the lines on each axis they need to be parallel. They need to be parallel. That they do not converge into a vanishing point. That is a linear perspective, and that is not a parallel line drawing. In a way, parallel line drawings represent what we know rather than how we see. Let's go to the board. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, some demos of drawing isometric and plan oblique. I'm gonna start with the isometric. So isometric, um, it's always going to be 120 degrees. The three major planes are all equal. So in other words, that they are, so I'm drawing this and the other planes is equal. So in isometric, the three angles are equal. And they are 120 degrees. So the best way to, to, to construct it is always use your 30-60 triangle. Since this is 30 degrees, 30 plus 90, right? This is 30 degrees and this is 90. So 30 plus equals 120 degrees. So always use a 30 by 60 triangle to do your isometric. 